Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this right triangle ABC such that our angle B is 15 degrees and this side length AC is square root of 3 minus 1 and now we are going to calculate the area of this triangle ABC. And moreover, we are not supposed to be using calculators of any kind. And furthermore, we will not be using trigonometry as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. So before we proceed, let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this triangle ABC. This angle is 15 degrees. This angle is 90 degrees. So this angle C has got to be 75 degrees. So therefore our angle C turns out to be 75 degrees. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area of a triangle equals to a half time base time height. And as we can see that our height is known, which is square root of 3 minus 1. And the base is unknown. So therefore, we are going to calculate this side length AB now. And here's our next step. We want to be a little bit creative. So we are going to draw an auxiliary line CD. D is a point somewhere here. And we are going to connect this point C with this point D. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And we can see that this CD is equal to this side length b d and since this triangle b c d is an isosceles triangle so therefore this angle has got to be equal to this angle if this angle is 15 degrees this angle has got to be 15 degrees as well so therefore our this angle b c d is 15 degrees and this angle b is 15 degrees as well and now let's focus on this triangle ACD. We know that this whole angle is 75 degrees and this angle is 15 degrees. So therefore this angle has got to be 75 minus 15 that is going to become 60 degrees. So therefore our angle ACD turns out to be 60 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this triangle ADC. We know that this angle is 90 degrees. This angle is 60 degrees. So this angle has got to be 30 degrees. So we can see that this is a 30, 60, 90 degree special triangle. And here's our 30, 60, 90 degree special triangle. We know that this 30 angle is 30 degrees is smallest angle. So the side opposite to that one is going to have a shortest leg. This 90 degrees is our largest angle. So the side opposite to that one gonna have a longest leg. So in such kind of a triangle, if the shortest leg is one unit then the longest leg is going to be two times that that means going to be two and this the other leg is going to be simply square root of three so therefore in our this triangle this smallest side or shortest leg is going to be one this longest leg is going to be two and this uh, remaining side is going to be square root of 3. And now let's focus on this triangle ADC once again. This side length is the original one is square root of 3 minus 1. So in order to get the other sides relevant to that one, we are going to multiply this side by square root of 3 minus 1 and this side by square root of 3 minus 1 as well. Now let's focus on this side, this part. 
and here I have copied down let's go ahead and distribute that one we're going to multiply it so this is going to give us 2 times square root of 3 minus 2 so therefore this side turns out to be a 2 times square root of 3 minus 2 and now let's focus on this side these numbers and here I have copied them down let's go ahead and multiply them let's go ahead and distribute them so square root of 3 times square root of 3 is going to give us 3 minus uh, this is simply become square root of 3 so this side is simply is going to become 3 minus square root of 3 so thus our side lens turns out to be AC is square root of 3 minus 1. Our side length AD is 3 minus square root of 3. And finally this side length CD is 2 times square root of 3 minus 2. And now let's focus on this triangle BCD. We know that this side length equal to this side length. We know that this side length is 2 times square root of 3 minus 2. So therefore this side length BD is going to be 2 times square root of 3 minus 2 as well. And now we can see that this whole length AB is equal to the sum of these two individual lengths AD and then this BD. So therefore I can write this length AB equal to this line length AD is 3 minus square root of 3 plus this BD is 2 times square root of 3 and then minus 2. So our AB side turns out to be square root of 3 plus 1. So our side length AB turns out to be square root of 3 plus 1. And here's our final step. We are going to calculate the area of this triangle ABC now. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half time base time height. In our case our base is square root of 3 plus 1 and our height is square root of 3 minus 1. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So area is going to be a half time our base is square root of 3 plus 1 times our height is square root of 3 minus 1. And now we are going to multiply these two binomial by using this formula. We are going to have a half is still going to be outside and this is going to become a square that means this is going to become square root of 3 and then square and then minus 1 square so let's simplify this thing so this is going to be 1 over 2 outside this square and square root is gone so we ended up with 3 and 1 square is simply minus 1 so our area turns out to be 1 square units so thus the area of this triangle ABC turns out to be 1 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.